All right, so today is going to be a little bit of an interesting style of video. I say today, but I'm not sure that this will be uploaded on any particular day. This is a little bit of a flashback to those of you who have been watching my channel for a long time. You'll recognize this as the Wither Farm perimeter uh, from the Minerva world before Minerva Season 2, which is what's been uploaded as of my channel on May 4th. When I'm, yeah, May the 4th be with you is when I'm recording this. Internet jokes never die. <laughs> so this is a complete perimeter. I'm proud to show it. I mean, there are it's holes. Yeah, Sheen's talking. There are holes in the ceiling where gas kind of effed it up. But yeah, these are about 100,000 sea lanterns and about 125,000 glowstone. And we left the lava just because it matched the color scheme of red, blue, and yellow. Uh, which is really more like light white and then a brownish and then an orange. But we tried. So, uh, this is my old design for a wither farm, and this will actually work in 1.9, 1.11. I've tinkered just a little bit trying to get it to work. Uh, there are some changes I need to make. I'm not going to turn this on because the gas no longer bounce off each other, and the mobs, I'm not sure what would even happen next, to be completely honest, but I don't want to turn it on just because it looks nice and pretty how it is. This was all done in survival. We captured 62 gas. Uh, I don't know that I'll link too much, but... You guys can hunt through my old videos if you want to see pretty much everything involved with building this thing because back in the day I did make videos, but that's not what I'm here for. Uh, this is going to be hard to demonstrate without turning on the farm, but when somebody, actually this was inspired from a comment I got today, that I showed that um, whenever the blazes are killed, all of their blaze rods are actually sorted out and shot down here. And all of this goes towards our furnace array. Uh, I'm going to show that kind of at the end of this video. i uh, just kind of leave that as a teaser. But uh, somebody asked about the wiring, and I didn't personally do this, but I can do my best to explain. So the cobweb is to group up the blaze, uh, blaze rods as much as possible because they'd be moving in packs. He, he used beacons just because they're spawn proof and don't get moved by slime blocks. And hey, it's a wither farm. I mean, beacons are pretty fitting for this. So whenever the blaze rods would actually get shot down, remember this is at the item. Ar this is at the end of our item stream. Only when the blaze uh, rod chests are full, they'd actually go through an extra sorter and then be shot into a separate one. Everything else would go into lava. So the blaze rods would come all the way down here, hit a tripwire, which triggers a nice long delay, which lets them all group up at the bottom here, and then it starts a clock. So this clock triggers every single time a blaze rod hits it, and then it just, I think this is more of just a delay clock, and then um, it would actually trigger all the slime blocks and then push the blaze rods along. And then on just the right amount of delay, I mean, it's going to be hard to recreate this. Uh, if anybody wants a world download of this, I can try. It's not going to be easy because I would have to MC edit out the specific area and the whole world download for this which I could provide is like 700 megabytes or something so if you guys want that I mean you just go ahead and ask but you're gonna have to ask I'm not gonna provide it by default unless I have a media fire link already available in which case I'll just throw it in there and this should be in here because all my links are actually pretty updated uh, even though this is an old world I have the final backup on my lap or on my computer in a laptop uh, Anyway, I digress. So the blaze rods come down here, trigger the tripwire. That triggers a main clock, which just triggers both of these sides. Because the blaze rods, um, to keep up with the amount of items we got from this farm, I actually split the hoppers uh, facing sideways and down. And this split all of the items into four item streams. You can see we have four unique storage rooms here. And that's to keep up with about 36,000 items an hour. And with two players online, that's not even fast enough to keep up with this but that's all I could do with this space so we actually have four shoots two sides and the clock triggers all of them it all kinda is controlled by that main clock because you need to regulate these slime blocks pushing the items this way and then this way and then they go over the slime blocks which a few people don't know actually moves items slower than a norm or er, faster than a normal block slower than ice so it's a nice median so they get shot just along here okay I need to demonstrate this uh, let's I guess we don't need to use blaze rods, but in the spirit of things, let me just grab a few stacks here. Uh, hold control and then, the, or hold the middle click and then just drag to trigger that. Let's drop in a few blaze rods, and then that should have. Oh, you know what? This might not be working. Yeah, the string must have disappeared because somebody could have loaded this with forge. Oh no, are my trip wires going to be broken? Okay, all right. Let's throw something in. So then that'll trigger the clock, and then that'll trigger that. 
and then it shoots the blaze rods along, and then it shoots it to there. There, we go. this is much faster. And then just after the right amount of delay, it actually pushes a piston down and then pushes the blaze rod along. Let's actually get ahead of it so I can show exactly what happens. So it's coming at just the right velocity, and then there's just enough delay to actually push it along. So, uh, how many blocks this is? Uh, once again, I would have to provide a world download, but I can count it out now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks. And then on the 16th block, we've got a pressure plate. It goes 4 more, 5 more, 6 more, and then it's right on top of the obsidian where it actually stops moving. And then the delay triggers and it powers us down. I'm not going to be able to provide an exact tutorial for this because this was suited to our specifications. Uh, you just kind of need to know. Uh, this is where the world download will help you guys tremendously. I don't even know that I'd be able to provide a schematic. I'm sorry for this tutorial, but I wanted to show it because I think it's worth it. And this was a nice, really, really cool system to automatically fuel our furnace array with blaze rods without having to do anything else. Um, but this is all the wiring. Hopefully, you can recreate it from this. If you're going to make this, then you know, it just comes along like so. These are all sticky pistons. It just pushes it down, pushes it over. Wiring comes over for the dust to power this main piston. Uh, I am not great at this. I'm sorry. Uh, and then it all just continues along this pattern, and it gets brought up to an old 1.8 elevator that evidently does not work anymore. Oh, <sighs> Mojang, why do you have to fix things that aren't broken? A glitch that was obscure and rare and not even that bad is what broke that. So let's actually go towards... Well, that's a Christmas tree. Uh, that's spawn. This is a furnace ray. Honestly, I, I love the portal system in this world. Don't get me wrong, the netherweb is better, but our seed was amazing, so all of our portals were like 10 blocks apart. And this is the big reveal. So... Yeah, again, if you didn't watch my episodes, we ended the series in December, so it was actually Christmas time, and I just love everything here. <laughs> this is just, uh, I miss this world, but yeah, the newer is better. And this is our furnace array. Uh, link to this 800 furnace array in the description below if you want to build it yourself. But the more specifics of what happens here is the spawn is, is always chunk loaded by the iron farm, which is broken because I'm loading this in single player. Um, but the blaze rods get, would get picked up by these minecarts immediately shot down this item stream, and then that's just, you know, if you don't know how to do an item stream, then I'm sorry. That triggers a long delay, which goes into a chunk loading grid. Once again, I mean, if you don't know, I mean, there are plenty of videos online, I'm sure you can find some. Gene Embin has some, and then I think, s nope, not gonna list names unless I know. Sark made a bunch of... Simply Sark made a bunch of chunk loading videos, and then that just chunk loads this entire furnace array. Or, well, no, scratch that. It chunk loads this item stream, not the whole furnace array. And then the blaze rods just go in circles. And this is just a very basic uh, hopper synchronizer so that all the blaze rods get evenly distributed among all the chests. And then these just go into minecarts, and from here on out, the furnace array is what would be the next tutorial, and I've already done four videos at least on that. So yeah, if you're wondering what all of this is around me, honestly, you should guys should just go check out Minor Vlog Season 1. Honestly, I mean, they're not the same as my current videos, but they're quote quote new projects. Like if you're new to my channel, then these are projects you definitely haven't seen, and they're definitely worth checking out because, hey, they're good videos, so, you know, shameless plug. I hope this did it justice. This is just a really relaxed one-take video. I'm not going to go ahead and edit this too much. Just wanted to answer this comment that I got. And uh, hey, if anybody has any future comments and you made it this far and you want to know anything about anything going on in our world, just ask me a question and I'll go and make a video about it. I don't know why these minecarts disappeared. Um, hope that cleared everything up. I doubt it. If you're able to recreate it from this video, I'm going to give myself an award. I'm going to like Photoshop it and then make it my wallpaper. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this impromptu comment answering question. Just check out the world download. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.